Hello everybody, what's going on? My name is Nintendo Kid, and welcome back to another Subnautica tutorial video. Today, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to get inside the Aurora and everything that you need to see in the Aurora so that you don't accidentally miss anything. So now, before we begin, please be sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below because I will be responding to the comments. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to you're going to want to have a Seamoth to do this. Uh, to get into the Aurora, you're going to need a Seamoth. You can do it in the Sea Glide, but it's going to take way longer and it's going to be much harder. So don't don't deal with the Sea Glide. So you're going to want to have a Seamoth. So the entrance to the Aurora is actually in the front over there. That's where the entrance is. So you're going to want to have a Seamoth, and you're just going to want to head towards the front of the Aurora. Now, there are Reapers over there, first of all, so um, be very careful over there. If you have a perimeter defense system or a sonar, you'll be fine. So, I'm going to head towards the front, and then, sh and then I'll show you what to do from there. Be sure to stay on the surface, and don't go near the seabed. So, stay, stay towards the surface, and I'm also doing this in creative, so I won't get attacked by any of the Reapers. So, I will be fine. But if you're not in creative like I am, be very careful. We're in the crash site now, so this is where the Reapers are. Be careful. If you have the sonar, that, that's going to be very be beneficial for you. There's Life Pod 4 for reference. So here we are. There's a Reaper right there, as you can see. There's a Reaper right here. So just go right by him. So once you get here, you're gonna. This region of spots, the Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. So once you get here, you're gonna want to go through that hole, and then you'll, you're gonna want to come over here. Once you get over here, that means that you have successfully passed all the danger and that you are almost inside the Aurora. So just head up here and then you'll find these supply crates along the way. Caution. Scans show that adjusting tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to head across this little bridge here and come over here. Now this is where you're gonna need a fire extinguisher. But there are fire extinguishers lying around, so you should be fine. But if you don't have a fire extinguisher, there's one right there. So you got, and there, now you're inside the Aurora. Aurora. So here, there's two ways to go. There's the administration. Once you get here, there's going to be two ways to go. There's the administration and the cargo bay. There's a propulsion cannon fragment here. There's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. And this is where you're also going to need a fire extinguisher. And here there's a data download. There's a poster, PDA, and stuff to scan. Once you've been inside that room, you can actually go down to the cargo bay here. This is where you're going to need a propulsion cannon. So you're just going to want to move all this stuff. You're going to want to move all this stuff over to the side. And then you go down here. And then you're going to need a code here. The code is 1454. Once you've entered once you've entered the code, you can go inside of the cargo bay. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. There are lots of storage boxes, and inside some of these boxes, there are actually Cyclops parts, Cyclops engine parts that are very useful early game. There's also PDA here. New PDA data. Once you've looted this room, you can go down here and then and jump into the water. Be careful because there are bleeders here, which can do some damage if you're not careful. 
what you're gonna want to do then is you're gonna want to head head here and then this is gonna take you to the drive room the drive sustained internal damage during collision do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications the drive room the drive room is where all the radiation is leaking and if you can repair all of all of the all of the leaks then you'll be able then all the radiation will go away there is a cyclops engine efficiency module here and there's another fire extinguisher if you need it if you head back down this way and through here and you laser cut this door then on the other side there will be a there will be a locker room and then there will be a prawn bay Once you have laser cut the door, there's going to be a, there's a PDA here, a med kit. Integrating new PDA data. A battery. Some water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Once you've grabbed everything in this room, if you head up here, this is where the good stuff starts to happen. If you repair this, then you'll be able to go into this door, and this is where you'll be able to scan prawn suits. There are four prawn suit fragments in here, which will be very helpful. There's also a storage module here for you to grab. If you go down through here, If you go down through here, you'll find the black box and other th and the science lab down here. Here is the black box. Integrating new PTA data. If you go this way, you'll find a door that can be laser cut, which reveals another room. The code for the code for this laboratory is 6483. In this lab there is a PDA. Some microscopes and fluid analyzers and a repulsion cannon. Data download. On your PDA, your technology blueprints have been updated. If you go through this door, You'll find a PDA, and you'll be led back to the start. Integrating new PDA data. Once you get back to the prawn bay, you're gonna wanna go over here, and use the propulsion cannon to move these. Once you move all the, once you move all the boxes, you'll come to the living quarters. You'll live, this, is the cafeteria. There are stuff to scan, there are wall shelves, and a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. In this room, there are some food items which can be very useful. If you head all the way down, you'll find cabin one, which the code for this is 1869. And here there's a blue cap, a carry-all, a med kit, an arcade gorge toy, a PDA, and a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Here is the captain's quarters. The code for this is 2679. These are the blueprints for the Neptune escape rocket. This is this is an Aurora miniature. New PDA data. This is a PDA. Once you get back to the prawn bay, you're gonna wanna go back through the door that you came through. 
You're gonna want to go down through back through the locker room And you're running you're gonna want to go straight This is the door to the Seamoth Bay You want to repair the door and you want to head inside in here. There's a Seamoth depth module mark one There are Seamoth fragments and there's a PDA. That is just about everything you need inside the Aurora. Thank you everybody so much for watching this video, and if I missed anything, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video.